Today I'm going to show you how to calculate over excavation using a template. So on this job, we've got a building pad here in the middle of our project. And our geotech report tells us that we need to over excavate around this pad. We're going to undercut it five feet down and then overbuild it five feet out. So let's hop into profile mode and just look at the different surfaces that we have in here right now. So we've got a design surface, of course, subgrade beneath that. You can see the pad subgrade there. And then the, the lime green is our existing surface and the lighter green just beneath that is the stripped surface. So what I understand from the guys in the field and the geotech report is that the sequence of building this is going to be, they're going to come out and strip this topsoil off. So get down to the strip surface here. And then they're immediately going to start doing this over excavation for the pad. And like I said, that pad needs to come down five feet from the design and be blown out five feet. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to show you what the process is like. So we're going to hop back into edit mode and I'm going to take this pad line that has the elevation defined. I'm going to copy it. So control C or right click and copy. And I'm going to paste that into my existing surface as an annotation line. And I'm doing that because we want to stage that into the stripped surface since that is the sequence of how they're going to build it in the field. So that's really handy for, you know, any trench lines or some footers or anything that you're going to build into the strip surface or you need to stage into the strip surface. So now I have this pad line in here as an annotation with that elevation note attached and I'm able to run a template off of it. So I'm going to hit the T for template to apply a template. Now you're probably familiar with these with curb and gutter, maybe other over X. So I can save a library of templates and just pull them up, but let's just pretend I'm going to build a new one. I don't have one saved that I like. So I'm going to hit new. I'm going to sketch in the template myself and in the blank space, let's just pan over to the, to the right to blank space. I'm going to just draw in what I'm going to have this over X look like. So we're blowing out that pad five feet. So let's just model going five feet over horizontally. And then we're going to slope that back into the strip surface at about a one to one. So I'm going to click those two segments in and then right click my mouse to tell AgTech that I'm done sketching. And this template editor window is going to pop open. So the first thing I need to fix is my reference point, this RP over here is this yellow dot. So just like in Excel, I can drag these boxes. So I want this to attach right at the edge of my pad, right at the edge where I picked that reference line. So I'm going to drag that over and then we needed to go down five feet vertically. So in this vertical offset box, I'm going to type in minus five. I can hit tab or click out of that box and you'll see right away we model that in. So my reference point stays here. My template drops down that five feet. Next, I'm just going to adjust these widths and heights since obviously I didn't click them in perfectly. So I'm going to go five feet wide. This can be flat, so no height. And then in here, instead of defining a width and height, I'm going to add in a hinge point. Okay, so I'm going to, this. I can um, just check this box for hinge right so that I can have a variable width and then just have the program look for daylight. I'm going to define that slope as a one to one. Hit tab to get that slope correctly. And now I just tell AgTech where I'm daylighting to. So we already know I'm daylighting to my stripped surface as we talked about. So I'll pick stripped here. And then for output, I'm going to pick new surface because I want to be able to quantify my over excavation separate from the rest of the uh, cuts on my job. So I'm going to hit new surface. Now I can save this template so I can use it again. Right now I'm just going to hit apply, 
reminds me to save it. And we can see how AgTech actually sweeps around this pad. We can see the strip surface here. Here's why I'm going out that five feet, searching for daylight. We can watch it go all the way around or I can hit escape to speed it up. So I just hit escape there. I give this surface a name, let's call it over X. And I can define any color I want, orange is good. And I'll hit okay. So AgTech is now gonna build that surface for me. So now you can see I've got a nice uh, over some over excavation data lines here on my screen. One thing that you do wanna just be careful of when you're doing over X, let's look at a 3D view. When I look at this over X versus stripped, we can see it looks more like a footer right now because we've got some pad lines and some contours that were running right in the middle that it didn't touch. So let's trim those out really fast. This would be great if you were doing curb and gutter or like I said, a footer. We need to trim those out since we're taking more of a bathtub approach for the over X. So I'm just gonna pick that, that outer over X line that was my reference line, hit the little scissors icon for trim and remove the lines inside. Simple as that. Now you can go back to a 3D view and just check and make sure that's looking a lot better. So I can just get the view I want there. And I can see that I have been able to create a surface that's all over X cut. I can run a volume right from here. Let's hit that AV, let AgTech run a volume. And in that region, I've now defined that I've got about 1700 cubic yards of cut coming right out of that over excavation. In addition to that, I've got about 1600 yards of cut from my topsoil stripping. So if I look at that again in a profile view, we can see that we've added a surface in here. Here's where that profile is cut right through the middle of the pad. And now I've got this orange surface that defines my over excavation staged right into my strip surface that we saw just beneath our existing. So that quantity of the 1700, about 1700 yards of cut is all this cut that's coming between my stripped and my over X. The next video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this over X quantity to your backfill quantity, maybe to go back up to your subgrade surface, especially if you need to um, do any moisture conditioning or recompacting of that material before you put it in, how we're gonna calculate that. So check out the next video if you're ready for step two. Thanks.